2021 was a crazy year with no shortage of celebrity drama. During the year, lots of celebrities were exposed for their problematic behavior or past actions, and I'm gonna break it all down in this list. In at number 10, Hilaria Baldwin. 2021 started off with maybe the strangest scandal ever surrounding Hilaria Baldwin's background. After a long string of events, it was revealed that Hilaria Baldwin is not actually Spanish like she claims, and in fact her name isn't even Hilaria, it's just Hillary. And it seems that she put on this fake Spanish persona to be more interesting and unique in the media. It was also revealed that her Spanish accent is most definitely a lie too, because neither of her parents have an accent. As Twitter began searching for the truth, it emerged that she was, in fact, actually born and raised as Hillary, not Hilaria, in Massachusetts. And her roots are American for many generations back. But then in interviews, she claimed she moved here from Spain to go to NYU, a complete lie. In response, Hilaria addressed the situation saying she was raised with two cultures, but she never actually commented on why she lied, although she did later admit she is just a white girl. And at number 9, Jamie Lynn Spears. Since the Free Britney movement started to get mainstream attention, fans have been wondering why her famous sister, Jamie Lynn, never publicly did or said anything to support her while under the conservatorship. Britney has egged on her fans, telling them that she hates everyone in her family, including her sister, Jamie Lynn. After Jamie Lynn started getting hate, she responded, quote, Maybe I didn't support her the way the public would like me to with a hashtag on a public platform, but I can assure you that I've supported my sister long before there was a hashtag, and I'll support her long after. But Britney has been clapping back. In one caption, she wrote, quote, I don't like that my sister showed up at an award show and performed my songs to remixes. My so-called support system hurt me deeply. This conservatorship killed my dreams. Jamie Lynn has been keeping a low profile ever since. And at number eight, Scott Disick. Kourtney Kardashian and Travis Barker are the hottest new couple, and they're showing the world how much they love each other. Since the pair got together, they've been partaking in tons and tons of PDA. But things got awkward when Scott was exposed for trashing Courtney's PDA to none other than her ex-boyfriend, Eunice Benjima. Apparently Scott DM'd Eunice, Courtney's other ex, and wrote, quote, Yo, is this chick okay? Bro, like, what is this? In the middle of Italy? Clearly trying to initiate a conversation where they both essentially trash Courtney. But to everyone's surprise, even though it seems that Courtney and Eunice ended things pretty badly, Eunice did not trash Courtney, and he responded, quote, Doesn't matter to me as long as she's happy. P.S. I ain't your bro. Eunice then shared a screenshot of the whole conversation publicly, so it made things even more awkward between Scott and Courtney. In at number seven, Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart was at the center of scandal when it was exposed that his personal shopper had been stealing millions from him without Kevin knowing. Apparently, this took place over a long period of time, so the shopper was able to steal more than a million dollars worth of purchases. The personal shopper, Dylan Jason Sire, who started working for Hart in 2015, was arraigned in February on grand larceny and nine other accounts. If you're wondering what kind of things that he purchased, he apparently had over $240,000 worth of jewelry and watches, fine art, and Louis Vuitton bags in his possession. And at number six, Zayn Malik. Zayn Malik and Gigi Hadid were one of the hottest couples in Hollywood during their on and off again relationship. The pair even have a child together named Kai. After her birth, the pair seemed to be committed to raising their daughter together. But after Zayn's recent altercation with Yolanda Hadid, Gigi's mother, the two have split again, this time probably for good. A source exclusively told Us Weekly that it's quote, much better that they have separated. According to this insider, quote, Gigi and Zayn had a very destructive relationship when they were together romantically. And according to the lawsuit, Zayn quote, shoved Yolanda into a dresser, causing mental anguish and physical pain after calling Yolanda an effing Dutch slut. At the time of the altercation, Gigi was not home, but she came back immediately from Paris Fashion Week to address the problem. Zayn pleaded no contest to the charges, but later said in a statement that he adamantly denied Yolanda's claims. Now the pair have split and are fighting for custody. Halfway number five, Jake Gyllenhaal. Taylor Swift just released her version of Red, which is an album she wrote back in 2012 while she was heartbroken from a breakup. At the time, fans assumed the album was about Jake Gyllenhaal, but after the release of the All Too Well short film, we're pretty much certain it's about him. In the song, Taylor is agonizing over a past relationship and singing about her heartbreak. Swift, who is now 31, dated Gyllenhaal, who is now 40, for three months in late 2010. She then channeled her emotions to make the hit album Red in 2012. Taylor also released a short film along with the new 10 minute version of the song and cast Dylan O'Brien, who is 30, and Sadie Sink, who is 19, in the All Too Well short film, which is a very similar age gap between her and Jake Gyllenhaal during their relationship. Taylor called out Jake in the line, quote, and I was never good at telling jokes, but the punchline goes, 
I'll get older but your lovers stay my age. This line especially hits hard since Jake is currently dating a woman who is 16 years younger than him. In the song, she sings that Jake Gyllenhaal claimed that they might still be together if they were closer in age. And at number 4, Simon Cowell. The legendary American Idol host is known for turning everyday singers into stars, but his label Psycho was recently exposed for being toxic towards their artists. John and Edward Grimes, known in the music world as Jedward, went on a tweeting spree and spilled the beans on Simon Cowell and his record label. The pair said that Simon and his label have been taking advantage of artists for years. We were also reminded that other artists like Cher Lloyd and Rebecca Ferguson also spoke out about the bad conditions that they've worked under while with Psycho. In their tweets, Jedward called the One Direction members survivors because of what they've had to endure. And at number 3, Tristan Thompson. Tristan Thompson has been exposed for cheating on Khloe Kardashian many times over the years, and sadly, 2021 was no different. In the beginning of the year, an Instagram model revealed that she slept with Tristan while he was with Khloe. This made it the third time that Tristan was exposed for cheating. The model named Sydney Chase claimed that she slept with Tristan Thompson in January, and he claimed that he was single. But she added, quote, It happened, and then I found out that he was not single, and I cut him off. After the news went viral, she addressed it again in a TikTok where she apologized for disclosing private information, but also said she was not lying and Tristan had reached out to her multiple times. She said in the TikTok, quote, The last time we had contact, besides when he messaged me after finding out about the interview, it was the day after his daughter's birthday party. Following the scandal, Chloe and Tristan broke up, but it seems that Chloe is still defending him online any chance that she gets. And at number 2, Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis. Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis shocked the internet when they openly revealed that they don't bathe their kids unless they are visibly dirty. They revealed this on the Armchair Expert podcast with Dax Shepard, saying they only gave their kids baths as infants when they could, quote, see dirt on them. Apparently, Dax agreed with the statement and responded, quote, When I had children, I also didn't wash them every day. I wasn't that parent to bathe my newborns ever. Adding that people, quote, should not be getting rid of the natural oil on your skin with a bar of soap every day. Kuna said the decision related to her poor upbringing, saying she didn't shower much as a kid and she basically turned out fine. And finally, at number one, Army Hammer. Army Hammer is definitely the celebrity that's been exposed the worst in 2021, and it's looking like his career is over because the allegations against him aren't really something that you can come back from. Hammer shot to fame in his roles in Call Me By Your Name and The Social Network. He was also born into incredible wealth, and his family runs many massive billion dollar companies. But that all came crashing down after multiple women accused him of disturbing allegations, with many expressing that he had scary fetishes, and many times he would take things way too far with women while intimate with them. There were even rumors that he could be a cannibal. As a result of the string of allegations, Army has stepped away from an upcoming film with Jennifer Lopez called Shotgun Wedding, as well any project that he was due to be part of has cut him. And with the seriousness of these allegations, he could very well even be getting jail time for his actions. So that's all for the list. Let me know your thoughts below. I've been your host, Mackenzie Smith, and make sure to subscribe for the next one.